Hey everyone, I'm Megan Remblack and welcome to my channel, Meg Rem Softball. In this video, I'm gonna show some throwing drills that you can do to work on the proper mechanics. If you have proper mechanics, you're gonna avoid arm injury, but you're also gonna be accurate in your throw and you're gonna see some speed behind your throw. This first drill, we're actually gonna be stopped in the middle of our throw to feel where our arm should be, but also to feel what the rest of our body should be doing when we throw. So just a quick little summary on how we need to throw. We start in this U shape. My arms look like a U, my palms are down, my elbows are up. What we don't wanna do is start with the ball away from us. We're technically never in this position when we throw. We go from our U shape, we go to our L shape. My elbow is about even with my shoulder. My arm looks like an L, my front side is closed. After I throw, I come all the way across my body. So when I'm in this L shape, I wanna make sure my front side is closed because if I go to throw and everything opens up too soon, my arm gets away from me, which is gonna cause injury to my arm, but I'm also not gonna be very accurate. So you wanna make sure your front side, your front shoulder, your front hip is in line with your target. As you start your throw, you're closed. Once your arm starts to come forward, then your hips and chest, everything can start to rotate, and then you can throw. I get a lot of comments. How can my daughter or my son get a little bit more speed behind their throw? Make sure that when you finish, you're coming across your body and you're loose. I see a lot of players wanna throw and stop or they'll throw and come out to the side. When you stop your throw in the middle, you put a lot of stress on your shoulder, your bicep, your elbow, and that's when injury happens. So you need to make sure that when you throw, you're loose and you come across your body. That'd be like you trying to hit and you swing as hard as you can, but you stop at extension. You're gonna hit it, but it's not gonna go as far as if you were to swing all the way through. So for this drill, we're gonna pause in our L shape so you can feel where everything should be. So your palms should be down, your elbows are up. You go from your U shape, you go to your L shape, your back hips turned a bit. You have an L with your arm, the ball's not pointing away from you. It's about straight up and down, maybe looking towards your target. Your front side is closed. You're gonna go right from here, you're in your legs, and you're gonna finish all the way across your body. U-shape, L-shape, turn, keep my elbow up, throw all the way across my body. U, L, throw. This next drill is gonna help us get into that U-shape that we wanna start in. So what you're gonna do, you, yes you have your glove on, we're actually not gonna use our glove. You're gonna start in your legs because everything that we do as a softball player, we wanna use our legs, that's where we get our power. So we always wanna be in our legs. That's gonna help us throw the ball a little bit harder. So you're gonna start in your legs. All you're gonna do is you're gonna to toss the ball up straight in front of you. You're gonna catch it with your palms down and bring it straight back. So the idea here is to just feel when you catch, go straight back. You don't wanna catch and do a sweeping motion and come up. It should be catch right in front of you, pull back. Your palms are down, your elbows are up. You can do two different throws here. If you're experienced, you can go over the top, and then you can also catch and work on your lower arm slot uh, and throw from there. So for right now, I'm gonna catch and go over the top. So I'm in my legs, catch, pull it back, throw. Making sure I'm finishing all the way across my body. 